In the latest COVID-19 news, a California grant is back for the second year in a row. The money is aimed to help small independent restaurants. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz joins us live with more on how the grant can help local business owners. Kimberly? Good evening, Richard and Nina. This grant was offered last year to eight counties throughout California, but this time around it's a little different. It's being offered to restaurants statewide. The California Restaurant Foundation has partnered up with California's energy companies to fund about $303,000 grants. The grants are focused on helping restaurants invest in equipment upgrades and employee retention. Uh, four in five restaurants are understaffed and approximately 68% have had to alter their business um, hours and operations due to being understaffed. Local businesses in San Luis Obispo say keeping their employees is a priority. Get it, new employees and their training until the people is ready it takes some time. So it's better keep what we have. Restaurants I spoke with say this grant is something they could use after the difficulties the COVID-19 pandemic presented to them. But it would be super beneficial to the restaurant. And um, we haven't been able to do a lot of upgrades since COVID because our money just had to go do day to day making the restaurant run. Businesses say any help they can get is beneficial. Every little bit helps, um, be it $10, $5, $3,000 could get us a new refrigerator, help us repair things that need to be done to the restaurant. So it's definitely very helpful. Others are already thinking of the improvements they can do if awarded the grant. New juicer, no for us to improve it. And um, food processor, couple knives, no. Some requirements include that restaurants make no more than $3 million annually, have no more than three units, and are located in California and operating. For now, reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. Kimberly, thank you. The grant application will open Friday and close April 30th. And for more information about this grant, you can find this story on our website, KSBY.com.